Alright, with just a few more months of this, I'll look just like Axon. Alright, what's that Axon? You want to turn? Okay. Hello everyone and welcome back to the recap review. Today we're looking over set number 8733 Axon. The set has approximately 196 parts and the time of release was approximately $20. Hell oh boy, this guy's interesting. I'll just get that out of the way right now, that's not really a pro or a con at the moment. He's just interesting. Story wise, Axon is a member of the Order of Matanui. He protects the Mask of Life on the island of Voyanui, along with his, uh, at the time, former friend and acquaintance and fellow guardian, Brutaka. His powers include being cool, wielding a giant axe, and having electricity come out of his hands. He wears the Kanohi Road, the Mask of Truth. So, none of you lie. He'll know. So anyway, jokes and veiled sarcasm aside, let's get into the pros and cons of this unusually short titan. Starting off with the pros, Axon has a consistent color scheme of dark red, silver, and black. Now the pro would be his articulation. He has the standard amount of three in his legs, one in the head, and three in the arms. Except for his hands, in which case he has an additional four points of articulation in each hand, which, if you hadn't noticed, are huge, by the way. To my knowledge, Axon was the first set to feature articulated fingers, regardless of their build. However, I may be wrong about that, so if I am, let me know. Another pro would probably have to be his build, which is very unique, especially considering he is a titan. As we can see here, he does use the standard Paraka build, however it is added on with Nuva armor and various other attachments, showing off the many unique ways that you can utilize this building system. His feet, clobbering and large as they are, are also custom, along with pretty much the entirety of his build. My favorite part of his custom build would have to be his upper arms, very solid, very beefy looking, They're very well done, I really enjoy those. New parts in this set would have to be his mask and his axe blades. Other than that, he uses parts either from prior years or the current year. Uh, recolors would include his body, his torso, which is the Metro Red version of the Paraka. Now the pro probably have to be his weapon. His weapon is quite different from what we've gotten, it's a huge axe. It uses some older pieces along with newer pieces. It's just really huge. Now the pro some people would consider would be his articulated hands, which would allow for a lot of funny poses. See? It's giving you a thumbs up. Here. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. It's a weird thumb, okay? Don't judge him. So, you know, good articulation there. Another pro people would consider would be the more biomechanically look he has due to the pistons, which are new for the Titans in 2006, added to his back legs, which is interesting to see. And just overall, the, the innovative ways he can attach different pieces of armor to his torso, as well as his legs and arms. So overall, what we have here, we have a very unique custom and Certainly oddly short Titan. He has a very consistent color scheme and is very solid looking, which is nice to see, at least in his upper arms. But unfortunately, Axon is a little bit particular, so let's get into the cons. Cons would definitely right off the bat include the blue pins. He doesn't have any red ones, but he has a bunch of blue ones, and they're really peculiar in this set. Blue pins will stick out awkwardly here, giving him the open pin con as well, 
although very minorly. Personally to me, open pins make a set look a little bit unfinished. You know, only a couple of pieces or a different, different way of attaching it could have fixed that. So he has blue pins which look eye searing. He's very gappy, especially in his upper legs. For some reason, they're just really open. Along with the armor that's attached here, they give him a very open and gappy look. His feet also share a similar issue. As well as the fact that the pistons, well, yeah. Another con would be the fact that he can't really hold up his arms. Well, he can hold up one arm, not his axe arm. You see, in 2006, they did not have the friction joint add-ons that we got in the 2000... 2000 uh, when, did, when did we get those friction joints? Things like 2013 with the Chima Ultra Builds. Well, 2006 didn't have those. So, he can't really hold up his arm, and he can barely hold up his leg. But, he has very floppy limbs. So that's a definite con. Another con would probably have to be, in, in some people's opinion, his proportions. Because he has very lanky arms that almost reach the floor, and huge hands and feet, which do add to the fact that his arms and legs are very floppy. Another con would be the gappiness of his torso armor. And a definite con would be his articulation. That is about as far as he can put his neck up because of the way they attach his armor, his chest armor. Now, I don't know if there's another way of doing this, but because of how they do it, that's about as far as he can stick his head up. Another con some might have would be how open his back is. It doesn't have a lot of back armor. Probably contributed to why he got absolutely wrecked by Brutaka in that one comic. And another con some people would have would probably be the silver. And how large his axe is. Because it is a very huge axe. Some people would say that it is unproportional, disproportionate to his body and his limbs. So really, I must say, that's about it for the moment. Overall, Axon is an alright Titan. He is rather short, which is really unusual for this price point of $20. Uh, his pros would consist primarily of his consistent, solid color scheme, his unique weapon, his new mask, and some recolors to boot. He does have a unique stature and some very well built upper arms. He is very unique in that aspect. Unfortunately, he suffers from very lanky, floppy limbs, a lot of gaps, the unfortunate blue and open-ended pins, huge hands, which their only pro would be the articulated fingers, but they do add to the floppy arms, limited neck articulation, and awkward gaps in his torso, as well as an open back. So all in all, if you're a completionist, I would definitely recommend Axon. I know this is one of Kahi's favorite sets, but all in all, you could find a better Titan. However, that is not to say that he's the worst. So again, use your discretion. He definitely won't hurt your collection. So thank you all very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this review, and if there's anything I've forgotten and or missed, please let me know down below or at the TTV message boards. Join me next week when I look over his former friend, who then becomes his friend again after a long, arduous process in the pit, Brutaka. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you all next week.